Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday evening. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because you are at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices and my body also shall rest in hope. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Monday night psalm is Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. God bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the benefits of the Lord who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. The Lord has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is the Lord's mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has the Lord removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For the Lord knows of what we are made and remembers that we are dust. Bless the Lord, all you works of God in all places of God's dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 30, the first 10 verses. When all these things have happened to you, the blessings and the curses that I've set before you, if you call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you, and return to the Lord your God, and you and your children obey him with all your heart and with all your soul, just as I am commanding you today. Then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you, gathering you again from all the peoples among whom the Lord your God has scattered you. Even if you are exiled to the ends of the world, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there he will bring you back. The Lord your God will bring you into the land that your ancestors possessed, and you will possess it. He will make you more prosperous and numerous than your ancestors. Moreover, the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants so that you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul in order that you may live. The Lord your God will put all these curses on your enemies and on the adversaries who took advantage of you. Then you shall again obey the Lord, observing all his commandments that I am commanding you today. And the Lord your God will make you abundant and prosper, abundantly prosperous in all your undertakings, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit in your soil. For the Lord will again take delight in prospering you, just as he delighted in prospering your ancestors. When you obey the Lord your God by observing his commandments and decrees that are written in this book of the law, because you turn to the Lord your God, with all your heart and with all your soul. Tonight's hymn from First Plymouth Church, Lincoln, Nebraska. The hymn, Sing Praise to God Who Reigns Above.
not fault of the choir, but the fault of me pressing the wrong button. And our New Testament reading from the Gospel of St Luke, chapter 18, 31 to 43. Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. After they have flogged him, they will kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. But they understood nothing about all these things. In fact, what he said was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. As he approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard a crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Then he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who were in front sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he shouted even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and ordered the man to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, let me see again. Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it, praised God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The beggar, sitting on the side of the road, was a nuisance, an interruption, an inconvenience. An embarrassment, and so we read, those who in front sternly ordered him to be quiet. But he shouted even more loudly. And his words, Son of David, have mercy on me. The people around him seek to persuade him that he is not worthy. But they and he stand equal in the sight of God. It was my privilege today to conduct the funeral service of the Reverend Michael Pevy, And for the funeral tribute, I used this wonderful little story from By the Way of the Heart by the Reverend Mark Oakley. The funeral in 2011 of Otto van Habsburg, the last heir of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, took place in Vienna. In the tradition of the Habsburg funerals, when his body arrived at the Capuchin church to be interred, the doors were found shut. The herald knocked on the door. A monk from behind the door asked him, who demands entry? The herald read out the titles of the deceased. Otto of Austria, former crown prince of Austria-Hungary, prince royal of Hungary and Bohemia, of Dalmatia, Croatia, Slavonia, Galicia, Lodomeria and Illyria, Grand Duke of Tuscany and Krakow, Duke of Lorraine of Salzburg, Syria, Carinthia, Carniola and Bukovina, Grand Prince of Siebenburgen, Margrave of Moravia, Duke of Silesia, Medina, Parma, Piacenza, Guastala, Auschwitz and Zetar, Teschen, Fruoli, Dubrovnik and Zetar. Princely Count of Habsburg and Tyrol, of Kyberg, Gorizia and Gradisco, Prince of Trent and Brixen, and so on. At the end, the monk said, we know him not. The herald knocked again. Who demands entry, came the voice. Dr Otto van Habsburg, we know him not. A third knock. Who demands entry? A sinner in need of God's mercy. Him we know, said the monk, and the doors were opened. Son of David, have mercy on me. It is when we recognise our equal need of mercy of God, rather than categorising those around us, that we have the door of the kingdom opened to us, not for us to 
revel in its membership, but to join in being kingdom people, people to whom the door of mercy is opened by God alone. Not our titles, not our qualifications, not our good deeds, but the door of the open mercy of God. Amen. Monday's New Testament song, a song of the blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is almost over. In your mercy and grace abide with your whole church. In your holy word and sacrament abide with us and with all your faithful people until the day star rises and with the morning light we rejoice in the glory of Christ. Amen. God in heaven, may your Holy Spirit, the Comforter who proceeds from you, enlighten our minds, lead us into all truth and make us active in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise and thank you, O God, for you are without beginning and without end. Through Christ you are the creator and preserver of the whole world and the ruler of all that is, seen and unseen. You made the day for the works of light and the night for the refreshment of our minds and bodies. O loving Lord and source of all that is good, accept our evening sacrifice of praise. As you have led us through the day, keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening and a night free from sin. And at the end, bring us to everlasting life. Through Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we offer you all glory, honour and worship, now and for ever. Amen. Gathered in the peace of Christ, let us offer our needs to God. Let us pray for the unity of all Christians, that we may be reunited in the love of Christ. Loving Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all nations that the liberty of the gospel may be the foundation of every government. Loving Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own congregations, for the congregations of our East Midlands Synod, and in particular tonight, the ministers, elders and members of our churches in Derbyshire, that our lives may be rooted in the love of Christ. Loving Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are in prison by the chains of suffering, that God will set them free. We continue to pray for all and any in fear of COVID-19, those administering the vaccine and those caring for the critically ill. We continue to pray with Celia for her grandson Alfie, asking in prayer for his continued strengthening and for peace and for patience for the family. We pray with Liz for her great nephew Ryan, for his progress towards his next chemotherapy. And with Liz for her daughter Emma in her own chemotherapy treatment and in her care of her son Leon. We pray with Prince for Cheryl, with Judith for Catherine, her niece, for David Todd in his recovery from his mild heart attack and the Reverend Amanda Linney in her recovery. Also for Onkataya, with Roger for Pauline and for Louise as she continues to reflect on that significant meeting of some days ago. For the Reverend Graham Maskery and his wife Vera for the Reverend Eric Allen and his wife Joan. May these and others known to us who need God's help and strength 
we pray that God will indeed set them free. Loving Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks for those who have died and we pray for those who grieve, particularly tonight the family of the Reverend Michael Pevy, for June, his wife, Mark and Liz and the rest of the family. Loving Lord, hear our prayer. All wise God, your compassion and care have nourished us this day and have led us to this night's beginning. Keep the light of your hope burning brightly in your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen. Good night.